Oh, October 2018. And what I've done is created a rocket. I think we can do the fly by the moon mission. I got a 30 part count here. Um, it's under th th 30 tons. This is an upgraded launch pad, but you, I believe you can launch it on the other one. Um, it qualifies. So this is early game. Um, contract number five or six. Five if you're a badass. But that's the fly by the moon. Moon. Anyway, um, basically I'm going to turn it on. And these, these, are, these are turned down to I think 59. Um, thrust value 59 of 100. Everything else is 100%. Although you, I could dial them back so I don't actually cause myself to be wasteful and inefficient by accident. You can't control that. Your user end. Anyway, I'll just do it manually and control it. So, as you can see, just barely get it off the ground at one g-force almost anyway you can also see that my rocket is a little off vector it's just leaning this way and it's shooting it's just a little off that center point and what this means is basically it's falling if it falls into its own direction, that's no nice. But we don't want it to fall that way. We want it to fall nine, not not two seventy. That'd be directional. Um, not a lot to do here. You can maybe coax it a little, but you're really taking the chance of botching everything up if you monkey with this stuff too much at low altitudes. Alright, now give it a little gas, and the solid boosters are going to cut out and we'll drop those. And off they go back to Kerbal like bombs. Anyway, so you want to see a positive direction here, and part of getting into near Earth orbit is not only going up, but going out. So, oh, don't go over, bring it back to 45. There we go. So. What we basically want to do is try to get it somewhere between 50 is a good one. We're not perfect right now, but let's get to this other screen so we can monitor this progress. Um, as you can see, we've got an arc that's long, so we're achieving two things at once. Um, I can clean it up a little. That looks pretty clean there. And uh, you need to watch your gas. But our goal is between 70 and 90. And this always moving in a positive direction. So let's come over here to see what kind of gas we're dealing with. Um, I like this 45. I do want to put it on 90, not 93, but. Getting ready to run out of gas. So there we go. Alright, now we go back to the other one. I don't think I lost any efficiency. And we are above. So, go here. Cut back on your fuel. Way back. Um, I want to see this number go up though, not 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 down. Or or froze. So it's frozen at 1418. Oh, there it goes. It's starting to move. So I like that there, I like that there, and you see we're moving towards this goal. Now we missed our between 70 and 90 goal, but that's okay because it's really not that big of a deal. That was just kind of like to motivate us to get that rocket turned. Um, I'm loving our efficiency now, so I'm going to tone back even more. Lock that, I'd lock that number. Make it stop. There we go. So it's moving real slow. That's good. Not locked. And we'll move forward again. And 
basically what I'm trying to do is not burn fuel as I approach this apoapsis or apogee. Everything high starts with an A. AP. It's a Greek root. Like approach, appear, apprehend. Everything's in a positive direction. Or the highest. Alright, so as this timer marches backward, 1 minute 11, 1 minute 10, 1 minute 7, are we still going up here? Um, I'm, I, I, it looks like I need to make an adjustment again. Frozen. All right, there it goes. So, anyway, what I'm basically trying to do is get this down to about 30. And as you notice, as we get closer to this, this gets closer to this. Um, this would be our azimuth horizon. Um, so I'm going to stop that right there. I'm going to hold that about 9, and I'm going to let that go down. I'm not going to continue with it. And when this gets to about 25, I'm probably going to maybe try to lock that number up so it doesn't move. So 25, give it speed. All right, now I'm giving it gas. You can see the throttle coming up. 25 is a target goal, not an absolute. So at three quarter throttle, that thing's moving really slow, really slow. My new target's probably like 12. So I can keep changing them. I just want to be aware at all times. And see, we've locked it up at 14. So that's our new target, 14. And if it moves to 15, I'm going to move either my gas down or closer to perfection. Um, let's just put it on perfect. Look at that. Now we're marching so fast, so fast. All right, so I want to show you what happens as we approach 2,000. You can see the line goes into the planet right now. See that? And then I've turned the gas all the way up to speed that line up. And then it comes out like that. And then we want to stop it at 70. All right, 75, that's good. We have just achieved low Earth orbit. Now, if we're going to the moon and we got gas, go ahead and match the 110. Put 100's okay. Anything's fine. Just uh, what you do is you put the apoapsis and the periapsis like opposite of you. So about right there. See how I split the difference? And what you see is 113 to 106. You can fine tune that, but you really won't need to. But if you're going to the moon, Next thing you need to do is set as target, check your descending node, ascending node variation. It's plus minus six right now. There's not a lot we can do until we get there. I mean, there is, or we could ignore it and just go straight to the moon and then fix that. Um, with this much gas, you might even be able to get in orbit, but I wouldn't want to promise that. Um, especially at this stage where you don't have your technology to uh, develop your nodes. Now, I can see right here. Let's go back to the other screen. I'm going to flip this around because I like it on this side to me better, and I'll show you why. The brown is the dirt or the earth, and the blue is the sky or the space. So I've set everything up like it is, and what I can see with the pink indicator on my horizon ball is here comes the moon so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do the time acceleration and and we're gonna bring that moon closer All right, let me do it again so what I'm trying to do is get the moon to rise while I'm in orbit And we should have enough gas. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, I missed my mark, but it's okay. 
I'm still okay. I'm within tolerance. I just might not be within efficiency. So let's look and see. I, I, I'm on my forward direction point. I've given it full gas and my orbit is elliptical and growing quickly. Now I can monitor my gas up here. And the goal will be to fly by the moon. Alright, I'm down to 50. 50 is really safe. I can get home with 6. Just need to keep 6. Maybe less if I don't get too close or try to go around the front side of it or the back side of it. Alright, so that's officially a flyby and I've got 37 with a 110 periapsis. I can get back with maybe one and a half fuel from there. So I'm going to try to get a little closer. And as you see, the closer I get, the longer my mission is. I'm making it 10 hours. 10 hours, 30 minutes, 10 hours, 45, 11 hours, 12 hours. All right. I personally don't think we need to get much closer than 500,000. There we are. And have our mission longer than 13 hours. You achieve your goal. You got your gas in line. And when you get up to here to this point, um, 12 hours later, actually your whole mission is going to be 24 hours from here. If we do nothing. But we're going to do something, so we're going to shorten it. And that's when we get up here, we're going to put it on the, the, the uh, negative mode like this. And we're going to gas it. When we're at our apoapsis, and our periapsis is going to pull itself down to 30,000 feet. 29, 30, 45 will work. Um, but if you put it on 30, it will, it will naturally pull this back down and you will come into Earth's orbit. And you'll also be using your gravity assist to slow you down. Essentially, you're going to be burning the energy here and it's going to keep you from going driving, flying straight into the Earth. It's going to keep your angle high. It's going to keep it cool. Um, there's a better way to do it if you have the gas and that's to place this at 70 and then come back around and use your gas and pull that one down and then when you go back to wherever it is then put it back on 30 and you'll even be more efficient but that all takes time and one thing we do not have is oxygen so we can have all the time we want but if you were in a plan mission planning situation times everything you need food oxygen got to plan everything anyway i'm going to stop the video here now and you can trust me that we achieved what we went out to achieve all right thanks for watching